Good morning and welcome to our show. Today we're talking about memory. Our guest is Dr. Phyllis Ray. Dr. Ray has done quite a bit of research on memory and how the brain works. Hello and welcome, Dr. Ray. Hi, thanks for having me. Now, I'll confess that I worry about my memory sometimes, and I'm pretty sure that some of our listeners have similar worries. So I hope you can give us some tips. Well, I think I probably can. One thing that people often don't realize is that feeling anxious or worried about your memory will definitely have a negative impact on your memory. So what I mean is that if you're feeling stressed out because, for example, you always forget people's names, well, the stress of worrying about it will actually make it harder, uh, harder to remember names. Really? So we should try not to worry about it so much? Exactly. Hmm. Well, we're going to let our listeners get in on this conversation. Let's see what they want to know about memory. Um, first, we have Roberto from Phoenix calling. Hello, Roberto. What's your question? Hi. Uh, you mentioned forgetting people's names. I have a terrible problem with this, so uh, I'm wondering if there are any little tricks that I can use to help me remember. Yes, there definitely are. With almost any trick or technique, the goal is to make the name you're trying to remember as meaningful and memorable as possible. Uh, try to associate the name with an image. Uh, try to make the image as vivid as possible. Uh, for example, if you meet someone named uh, John Hatfield, take a moment and come up with an image. Um, Let's see, I might picture the man standing in a field next to an enormous red hat, and the name John is written in large letters on the hat. You, you can picture anything that would be helpful, but make it really memorable. Actually, the sillier it is, the better, because you're more likely to remember. Thank you. That's really helpful. I think having a technique to use will help me feel less worried about this, too. Good. So that will help with the stress factor we talked about. Thanks for calling, Roberto. Uh, our next caller is Tim calling from Boston. Hi, Tim. Hi, this is a great topic. Thanks. Good. My question is about whether we can improve our memory or not. I've been hearing more and more about exercises to strengthen the brain and things like that these days. Well, uh, it's almost like people are saying that we have to work out our brain in a similar way to working out our bodies. Is this true? Should I be trying to exercise my brain? Great question. And the answer is yes. Research is definitely showing that exercise for our brains is beneficial. And yes, there is a parallel to exercise for our bodies. Uh, you can almost think about it as if the brain is a muscle and you have to work it to strengthen it, just the way we do with muscles in our body. So how do you give your brain a workout? There are lots of ways. A lot of puzzles, for example. Uh, crossword puzzles are good for your brain. Puzzles that involve pictures and diagrams are also good. And uh, there are actually a lot of good books available now with many different ideas on how to give your brain a workout. I, I recommend you find a book that looks interesting to you and then do the exercises. Okay, I will. Thanks. Thanks for the question. I'd also like to add that giving the brain some exercise is a good idea as you get older. Age affects the brain just as it affects the body. So regularly working out the brain can help it stay healthy as you age. That seems like good advice, especially since we're all getting older. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, our next caller is Lily from Chicago. Hello, Lily. Hi. I think my memory is pretty good, but the thing that drives me crazy is when I have something on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember it. Ah, the tip of the tongue syndrome. When what you're trying to remember is so close, but you just can't think of it. And the harder you try, the worse it gets, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> I found the best approach is to talk around the topic. Uh, for example, if you're trying to remember the name of a movie, Talk about what the story is about, who the characters are, and so on. This gives your brain time to work on it. 
And very often, if you don't push too hard, it will come back to you. Thanks. Okay, it's time for a break. We'll come back in a minute for more of your questions.